Really? End of the hall. That's the Nazi? I thought the Nazi would be a guy. I thought the Nazi would be a Nazi. Maybe it's professional jealousy. Maybe she's brilliant and they call her a Nazi because they're jealous. Maybe she's nice. Let me guess, you're the model. Hi, I'm Isabel Stevens, but everyone calls me Izzy. I have five rules, memorize them. Rule number one, don't bother sucking up. I already hate you, that's not gonna change. Trauma protocol, phoneless pagers. Nurses will page you. You will answer every page at a run. A run, that's rule number two. Your first shift starts now and lasts 48 hours. Your interns, grunts, nobodies, bottom of the surgical food chain. You run labs, write orders, work every second night until you drop and don't complain. On call rooms, attendings hog them, sleep when you can, where you can. Which brings me to rule number three. If I'm sleeping, don't wake me unless your patient is actually dying. Rule number four, the dying patient better not be dead when I get there. Not only will you have killed someone, you would have woke me for no good reason. We clear? Yes. You said five rules. That was only four. Rule number five. When I move, you move. Get out of my way! What do you need? Mr. Jones has chunky veins and he really needs antibiotics. I should start a central line. So start one. You don't know how. I've never done one. Well, you know what that means. Can we just page the miles? She's the on-call resident. Okay. Okay, I'll just don't wake her. Dr. Bailey, I don't mean to bother you. But then don't. It's Mr. Jones. Is he dying? No. Then stop talking to me. <clears throat> what is it? Next time you wake me, he better be so close to dead, there's a tag on his tongue. George, you're running the code team. Meredith, take the trauma page of Christina. Deliver the weekend labs to the patients. Izzy, you're on sutures. Dr. Bailey, I was hoping to assist you in the OR today. Maybe do a minor procedure. I think I'm ready. Mocha latte? If she gets a cut, I want to cut too. Yeah, me too. I wouldn't mind another shot. I mean, if everybody else Stop is. Stop talking. Every intern wants to perform their first surgery. That's not your job. Do you know what your job is? To make your resident happy. Do I look happy? No. Why? Because my interns are whiny. You know what will make me look happy? Having the code team staffed, having the trauma pages answered, having the weekend labs delivered, and having someone down in the pit doing the sutures. No one holds a scalpel till I'm so happy I'm Mary freaking Poppins. I saw Allison. You can't believe the beating that she took. And then to see this. It's like that old saying. You should see the other guy. Why are we not attempting to reattach the severed penis? Teeth don't slice, they have tear. You can only reattach with a clean cut. If she wanted to slice them off with a knife. Besides, the digestive juices didn't leave much of the flesh to work with. Right, so what do we do? Sew them up minus a large part of the family jewels. And his outlook. He'll be urinating out of a bag for a very, very long time. Not to mention he'll never be able to have sex again. Oh, too bad. Shame. Let's all take a moment to grieve. Clamp. Do you think I'm too confident? No. Don't lie. You are my boss. All right, then. Anything you say in the next 30 seconds is free starting now. I think you're cocky, arrogant, bossy, and pushy. You also have a God complex. You never think about anybody but your damn self. But you, I... But, what, I still have 22 more seconds. I'm not done. This lovely group's his friends. Uh, you all belong to... Uh, what's his name? Viper. V Viper? Yeah, we were in the race. Uh, how is he? Is he okay? Yeah. Is he okay? Yeah. No. No, he's not okay at all. He hurled his body down a concrete mountain at full speed for no good reason. 
Hey, yeah, yeah, I know you all pierce yourselves and smoke up and generally treat your bodies like your grungy asses can't break down. Hey, hey that's fine. You want to kill yourselves flying down a concrete mountain? Go to it. But there are other people walking, people driving, people trying to live their lives on that concrete mountain, and one of Dr. them got his brain scrambled today because one of you little sniveling no good snot rag. Dr. B. Yeah, yeah, so, okay, no. Your friend Viper, as far as I'm concerned, is not okay. Towel? Not good. She complained of pressure on her chest that nobody took her seriously. Not good for the patient, not good for the hospital, not good. Christina, hit the files, find out everything you can about that initial operation. Who was in that room? Who was responsible for closing? George, you stay with the patient. Keep it happy. She seems to like you. Right, okay, um, how long do you think... I mean, just technically, I'm off at six. Am I invited? Excuse me? Am I invited to the party? Oh, well, yeah. Yes, yeah, of course. What was I supposed to say? Oh! You know, it sounds like the party's winding down. Yeah. Listen to me. What? You should probably sneak inside, though. Oh, we did enough sneaking for the night. It was good sneaking, but enough sneaking. Yeah, I said we're pretty good sneakers. You mind moving this tail wagon? You're blocking me in. Apparently not good enough. <clears throat> Miranda. Excuse me? Well, that's your name, right? It's on your jacket. Ah, oh, fine, I'll just call you Bailey then. You think you're charming and that talented, neurotic, overly moose hair sort of way good for you. But if you think I'm going to stand back and watch while you favor her... I don't favor her. She's good. Yeah, sure she is. You know what, can I point out that technically, I'm your boss. You don't scare me. Look, I'm not going to advertise your extracurricular activities with my intern. However, the next time I see you favoring Meredith Gray in any way, I'll make sure she doesn't see the inside of an OR for a month. Just for the sake of balance. I didn't know that he was my boss when I met him. I didn't know. I don't care. Really? Oh, well, you sort of seem to not be talking to me, so I... You, you see this? What's happening right here? Hey, this is the problem with you sleeping with my boss. Not whether or not you knew him before, but how it affects my day. And me standing here talking to you about your sex life affects my day. And the longer this little fling goes on, the more favors you get over the others who are fighting tooth and nail just to make it through this program without any assistance. When those people start finding out what's going on and they don't want to work with you and talk to you or look at you and they start bitching and moaning at me, the more it affects my day. So no, Dr. Gray, I don't care what you knew or when you knew it. We understood. Yes. Good. Do you think the optic nerve is damaged? If it is, when he wakes up, he'll... He'll be blind? For how long? Forever. Paige, Stevens, and Yang, tell them I want them covering your patients. I need you to stay and yeah, monitor right. the chief. Christina and Izzy, um... I think they're already swamped. With what? Labs. They had a check on some labs. Oh, you are lying. I know you're lying. You know how I know? Because you're a bad liar. I hate a bad liar. Take over for me. I know exactly where they are. Here, take over for me. Even tell me you're doing what I think you're doing. Um. Police wishes you broke the law. You could be arrested for assault. D do you like jail? 
The, the hospital could be sued. I could lose my license, my job. I like my job. D did you think about any of this before you started cutting open a poor man's body? You know, I could seriously kick both your asses right now. Do you have anything to say? Look at his heart. It's huge. It's over 600 grams. And there's some kind of grainy material in it. We want to run some tests. Oh, now you want to run tests. At this point, what could it hurt? I hate both of you right now.